मन में रखो हेलो हेलो है ना ओ अब उसको ऑप्शन चेंज करना है तो बेस फोन फोन चालू कर चालू कर लाइन आउट हो फ्री आउट हो फ्री आउट हो फोन नहीं लाना ऑक्स आउट है ऑक्स एक्स आउट करा फ्री ही तो फ्री आउट कर देख मैंने तेरे फाली तो बेस का हेलो 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 असीब यार रेडी असीब यार रेडी हाँ रेडी Check, check.
Your league stage itself, and it was a close game. And uh, talk us through that. Yeah, it was a close game. Uh, it was about a 157 target, and it's a 30 overs. Uh, we never gave up, and uh, he fought very hard, and uh, uh, till last ball. And uh, credit goes to our, uh, you know, all the players, bowlers, our fielders. We did really well, and fantastic job we did all through these league matches. Yeah, and we are in the finals now. So you had a good uh, semi-final. Well, any changes, in squad? Uh, yeah, two changes. Uh, uh, Shivratan and uh, Mithun Patel is uh, playing in 11. That's it. So looking forward to put up the big total here. Yes. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. So we move on to the skipper. Skipper Prashant, first of all, talking about the performance of your team. It's been fantastic. The semi-finals was a one-sider, had a fantastic game for your team. Uh, talk us through your preparation for this final. Yeah, actually our boys are doing well uh, throughout this tournament. And uh, we are a very good batting and uh, balanced side of the bowling as well. So it doesn't matter uh, whom we face, at the end we need to win. And uh, quickly take us through the memory down the lane for the match that you played against the opposition. Yeah, like I said, it's a two good team also and we know them very well. And we lost the match by one run. So we will be giving back to them in the finals, hope so. Well, it's going to be a good competition here, the big finale coming up. Talk it won by Team Legacy and they have elected to bat first. It's going to be a cracker of game here. Stay tuned. You're all these matches live and uh, all cricket academy ground. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.
to begin with the innings of Team Legacy. Requesting the 12th man from both teams to report near the commentator's desk. 12th man from Team Legacy and 12th man from uh, Team Quick Biz. Can we have you here at the commentary box end? We're all set here. The fielders have taken position and uh, the opening pair have already taken guard. The bowler is ready. And uh, starting the proceedings from the commentary box end is going to be Priyanshu. Left arm seamer. Going to be bowling over the wicket to the right-handed batsman. Remember, it's a 30-over game here. It's a pro tournament. Pro 30. And uh, the batsman on strike, Shivratan. Shivratan and uh, Sachin are the two batsmen out there in the center. It's going to be a cracker of a game here. Lovely conditions. And a beautiful ground, this Crick Base Cricket Academy ground. A good setup here for a fantastic uh, finale coming up of the Crick Base Pro 30. Wishing both the teams uh, all the very best. And the umpire calls it play. Starts off with a good delivery, right in the good corridor. Shivratan just getting his eye in there. Wants to understand what's happening here, what the ball is going to do. Driven down the ground and they've managed to take a quick single. Good response from Shachin. As soon as the batsman hit the ball, he wanted a single out of it. And a good response from Sachin. Making a, a comfortable single there. So far in the couple of balls that we've seen so far. Seems uh, there's not much in it for the fast bowler here. Not much of movement, and the ball not skidding through, suggesting that uh, it's a tad slow here. Left hander such a non strike now, got two slips in place. Both slips a little wide from each other. Good delivery there. Bowls the right length there. Sachin wasn't sure. So there wasn't any foot movement around. A good delivery. We'll give uh, Priyanshu a little more confidence here. We'll start to understand uh, what the pitch is doing and uh, what ball can do. Pitched up delivery, driven straight to mid-off, mid and uh, they managed to get a single out of it. Good call and good response by these two batsmen. Good understanding by them. Team Crick Biz would be hoping to get a breakthrough here. An early breakthrough would help them restrict the opposition. On the pads, got a little bad on it and uh, will only be a single down to fine leg. He's bowling the right length though, Priyanshu. Just not getting enough movement 
or uh, any help from the pitch. Good length, not easy for the batsman early in to score those boundaries. Last ball coming up, He's pulling to Sachin. Another attempted Yorker there, they managed to squeeze a single out there. A good single there to finish off the over. So after the completion of the first over, score moving on to four without loss. And starting the second over is going to be Shiv Kumar Gowda. He's going to be bowling to Sachin. It's a good contest here. Good even contest. Both teams quite well balanced here. They've got their best sides for this big finale. Taking some time here to set his field absolutely right. Wants to make sure that the fielders are at the right position. Here we go, second over, Shiv Kumar. Shot of good length there. Blocked it by Sachin. Oh, good delivery. Trying the bouncer there, trying the shot pitch delivery on Sachin. Interesting thing to notice that uh, it stopped and came to the keeper. It didn't skid through. Good aggressive start here from Shiv Kumar. Both on good length and short pitch. Another good delivery. Bit of bounce there, bending his back there. Amat's been taking a look at the center. That's a good delivery. Interesting to see those two. The last two deliveries that he's bowled, Shiv, getting extra bounce there. We've got uh, slip in place, slip in gully, slip in almost a second slip position. Punched of the back foot uh, straight to gully. No run on that occasion. It's been a fairly decent start here from Shiv, keeping things tight here. But I would love to see him pitch it up a little further up to the batsman to allow the ball to do something different here because right now with the shorter delivery is just coming on to the bat another good delivery they call it the tennis ball bounce there the batsman uh, unsure about the bounce there 
in fact taken by surprise in fact got the second slip in place i reckon any moment here second play second slip is going to be in business oh slow delivery very well disguised and uh, deceiving the batsman so that brings us to the end of the second over it's a maiden over from shiv so that brings us to the end of over number 2 team legacy 4 with our loss drifting down the leg side wide signal priyanshu trying to keep it tight for the right hander not giving it, give him any room there there's only one slip now back at the right lane there right line as well decides to leave that alone shivratan like i mentioned since it's a 30 over game here so he can afford to take things slow here take some time to understand what's happening out there how the ball is behaving the new ball Pushed off delivery. He managed to steal a single there. The fielder was right at the thirty-yard uh, mark. So good running again, and uh, I must repeat this again. Good response from Sachin. He's quick in a flash there. It's good to see that uh, these two are managing to rotate the strike, except for the previous over, which was a maiden over. taking a few steps down the track there sachin trying to convert it but uh, priyanshu was up for the task there pitched it a slightly shorter so the batsman had to just guide it towards uh, point there no run on that occasion we're in the power play eight overs of power play in this 30 over format both these teams eager to get them get going here again uh, a few steps down the track sachin trying to force the shot there at the end moment realizing that he just has to get bad on ball and uh, with a little bit of movement with the new ball gets beaten like i mentioned both these teams are eager to get a start here get going the still no boundary yet just got to be consistent here priyansh in fact he's just uh, looking to change the field fine leg comes back in and uh, mid off fielder walking back another good delivery 
Sachin needs to just get bad on ball here. He's found he's found it a little uh, difficult in the last uh, ten deliveries or so. Not in not being able to get bad on ball, getting beaten on a multiple occasions. Pitched off delivery, driven down the ground, quick single taken, throw at the bowler's end. In fact, uh, that would have probably been a close call there, but uh, missing the stumps. So, batsman in and one run for uh, Sachin. And uh, with that single, that brings us to the end of over number three. Team Legacy, after the completion of uh, three overs, the score has moved on to seven without loss. Oh, good delivery. Gets the outside edge. Just evades the fielder at uh, second slip. Sachin manages to get uh, a single and rotate the strike. Brings uh, Shiv Kumar on strike. He's uh, found the good spot there. Shiv Ratan found a good spot there. He knows... It's a troubling spot for the batsman. Like I mentioned, it's not skidding through. It's just creating a little bit of doubt in the batsman's mind there. It's going to be a good contest here between these two. A guy did that away very confidently for a single down to third man. Priyanshu does the clean-up job there. It's going to be interesting to see how Sachin is going to play the remaining of the over. They've got uh, two people catching, second slip and a fourth one. Just trying to guide it. Not getting the right pace of the pitch there to play that shot. Interesting to see that... Uh, with two fielders in the catching, still trying to guide that towards third man. I believe uh, there's going to be a, a release shot any point now. Oh, goes for it. Gets beaten. The word from the dugout is that it's still a long way to go. You still have a long way to go. Plenty overs, overs, overs remaining, so get bad on ball. Another good delivery following the batsman there. Like I mentioned, it's a good setting here at the Crick Base Cricket Academy ground. We've got the KCA match officials who are standing in as the empires of this game. A lot of experience behind them. A little quick on the bat. Again, another single guided towards the uh, third man region. And uh, with that single, brings us to the end of another good over here. Five overs completed, score moving on. Correction, four overs completed, score moving on to 10 without loss.
Oh, that's a lovely hit. I'm sure he's going to feel a lot better there, Sachin. Pitched up delivery, driven beautifully for the first boundary of this uh, innings of Team Legacy. Goes for the big hit, times it well. And uh, the fielder gets a little bit of a uh, hand on that, so that's why it slowed down. But good work there uh, by the fielder at mid off. Chased that down and uh, saved a certain boundary there. A couple of runs to the batsman, Sachin, who's looking to get loose here. Trying to get uh, aggressive with Priyanshu's bowling. Understandably, he's going to target Priyanshu here because Shivratan is uh, keeping things tight here. Oh, good comeback delivery. Just pulling the length back there. Just enough for the batsman to be unsure of what he's going to be doing with that. A good comeback from Priyansh. So in fact, uh, after the boundary and a couple of runs, he's made a change in the field. Fine leg has come in and Midoff has gone back to the boundary line. Not on the line, a few steps inside. Another pitch of delivery. Right behind the ball there, Sachin on that occasion. I'm sure he's going to be feeling a lot better here with the boundary and a couple of runs in this over. He was itching to go. Just has to make sure that he plays a long innings here. Runs will come. Stepping down the track. Great timing there. A glorious hit for a boundary. Another good shot there. Result in two boundaries in the over. Watching that again, uh, stepping down the track and hitting it on the rise. That's a shot with a lot of confidence. Very sensible batting there from Sachin. The teammates would feel that uh, he's got a long way to go now from here. He's got the start. And uh, that's a good news for team uh, legacy. So that brings us to the end of over number five. The score has moved on to 20 without loss. A smooth action from uh, Priyansh.
continuing to bowl the third over Shiv Shiv Kumar Gowda bowling to Shiv Ratan leading edge keeper coming underneath it and that is a wicket number one an important wicket there the ball was pitched up on the legs there he tried to turn things around like I mentioned it's a little slow there so you can't turn the face of the bat too early the result leading edge and uh, Shiv Ratan is out caught behind A batsman replacing uh, Shiv is Mithun Patil another aggressive batsman walking out to the center it's a good breakthrough here for team Crick Biz Academy it's gonna be taking the strike there Mithun it's just been uh, a quick little chat between the two batsmen giving the a bit of in, insight about the pitch what's happening and uh, what should be watched out for he's bowled very tightly here Shiv not given any room bowls smart bowling there bowled maiden over as well first over that he bowled was a maiden over so he's kept things tight he's been consistent and he's been rewarded as well with wicket number one for him and the team which has brought Mithun out in the center going to be taking strike now Oh, another good delivery another shot of good land delivery rising up higher than expected He's taking a look at the center looking at uh, Shiv's run up very smooth run up comes in smoothly and takes the leap and a lot of shoulder involved in that Another good delivery, a dot ball there. So he's bowling very tightly, Shiv. As we look at the run up again, smooth run up. Takes the hop there, the leap, ending with the release with the shoulder power. Getting that extra bounce with that slingy action. Oh, another peach of a delivery this time. Effort delivery bending his back there. It's survival time out there when Shiv is bowling. I'd like to see another slip or a gully in place with this kind of bowling and the kind of spite he's getting off the pitch. I'll have to see another man catching. Another good delivery, this time well played by Mithun. The way Shiv is bowling right now, I reckon the only couple of places that I can think of the ball going is one is gully, second is short cover. Confidently left alone. Another maiden over from Shiv. That brings us to the end of over number six. The score is 20 for one. In fact, oh, a maiden wicket in this over. Wonderful bowling. Outstanding bowling from Shiv. Looks like there's going to be a change in the bowling.
सेवन एट जीरो Like I mentioned, it's uh, there's a change in the bowling here from the commentary box end. It's uh, checking on the bowler's name, Raju, the new bowler who's going to be introduced into the attack. He's going to be bowling to Sachin, tall man, Raju. Yet to see his bowling to give any insights to you guys. He's asked for the same field setting, which was of the previous over of Priyansh. Slip there, looks like second slip, and uh, fielder at uh, deep point there, and uh, why third man? Oh, pitched off delivery. Beats the batsman, the stumps, and uh, reached the keeper there. Who's done a good job? Ball coming back into the left-hander there. As we watch, bowler using his wrist, and that's the reason why he's got the exaggerated movement of the pitch there. Another good delivery wrapped up on the pad. Managed to get a single there. In fact, uh, no signal from the umpire, which means, in fact, a late signal from the umpire. It's a leg by. Brings uh, Mithun on strike. It's going to be interesting to see now. Raju. Bringing the ball into the left-hander, so which means it's going to be an outswinger to Mithun. He got a slip in place. Uh, trying the swing there, trying the movement there. That's why he bowled that slightly towards leg stump or just outside leg stump. Nonetheless, a dot ball for him. But he's got to be careful here. Mithun is a top-class player. We've seen him build many innings and uh, score runs in bulk. Played that on the onside. Two is the call, but wouldn't be a two there. Good fielding. Good pick up and throw there from the fielder at uh, Midon. You can watch all these matches live on Y Sports. HD streaming of this match, the big finale. Live commentary by Braz. Good delivery. As you could see, the length was different. That's the reason why there wasn't much of movement there. Which is alright. Which is absolutely fine as long as it's not a loose delivery. So the skipper is going to be happy with the results so far. Skipper of Team Crickbiz. Slow delivery and uh, crunch towards the offside for a boundary towards the wide of uh, long off. That's a good shot there. Interesting to see that uh, the batsman uh, walked into the shot, realizing it's a slow delivery, had to reach out. But he got good timing on that and the result is a boundary for him. Good shot and uh, looking good there, Sachin. So after the completion of seven overs, Team Legacy, 26 for the loss of one wicket. Final over of power play coming up. 
I'm sure that's not going to be in their mind to get uh, big hits. Just have to play off the first 15 overs without minimal damage here. Shiv continuing to bowl from the umbrella end. Dot ball to begin the over. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of discipline in his bowling. He's been consistent, Shiv. Something to appreciate. As you watch a cricket game, you'd love to see this consistency. And he's been attacking as well. Another good delivery. This time played it in the gap. Guided that, in fact, using the pace of the bowler. Should be a couple of runs. Pull back in. That's a smart batting from Mithun. Using the bowler's pace. Guiding it between point. A couple of runs under his name. I'm sure just wants to play off the power play. Still a long way to go. Another leading edge. Falls in no man's land. Just short of the fielder at Gully. The skipper reminding the fielders to move around. Take a start. Got to be expecting the catch there. Expecting the ball towards you, so you have to anticipate, move around, especially when you're in the 30-yard circle. Drifted down the leg side, should be a single. And it should be leg buys. Bring Sachin back on strike. It will be interesting to see how Sachin is going to face the remaining deliveries of the over. He's not found it easy in this, uh, from this side, especially with the bowling of Shiv. His teammates would be telling him to play this over. You will have change of bowler in the next over again. Looking forward to this contest. Pull that away! That is short of dominance. There's no hanging around there. He's been there enough. Short push delivery. Not enough pace on that. And Sachin's been there for a long way to understand that he can deposit that out of Bach. What a moment here. What a fantastic hit. Short pitch delivery as we watch on the replay. Not a lot of effort there from Shiv. Sachin rocked back onto the back foot and pulled that away. For a huge sixer. Calling out for groundsman surrender. Surrender groundsman. Aap jahan kahi bhi ho. Commentary box ke paas a jana. Surrender. We've, uh, I think we've retrieved the ball. Just checking with the umpire. It's the same ball, right? We have retrieved the ball. Good work by the fielders around. Especially the fielders of the home team. So, it's going to be interesting now. After the six, what's the comeback delivery? Or what's the comeback shot here? Stepping down the track, confident looking shot. A good drive there. Straight to the fielder at uh, mid-off. That uh, finishes off with a single to end the over. And after the completion of eight overs, the score has moved on to 36 for the loss of one wicket. Team Legacy.
And just a little reminder to both the teams to hurry up. It's a 30-over game. So we have to make sure that we complete it in the stipulated time which has been given to you by the match officials. So the skipper of both teams, reminder to hurry up. Another change in the bowling. New bowler brought into the attack is the Offi Dubeji. Taking some time to get his field right. Dube, an off spinner. It's going to be a, an interesting contest here with Sachin on strike. And it uh, will be interesting to see whether Dube is going to flight the delivery with the fielders on the line. Or is he going to bowl flatter? Here we go. Try to cut the, the try to cut that away. Not the right length for him. Good start from Dubeji. Another good delivery. Right on the money there. Not enough to the batsman to play around. Quicker delivery, loud appeal, and in fact, that's been given. What a moment of the game. In fact, on the pad and uh, to the stumps. Just checking with the umpire, is, is it bold? Thank you. Yes, uh, it's confirmed that it's bold. A quicker delivery there. Sachin tried to paddle that. Got it on his pads and then on to the leg stump. So wicket number two goes down for Team Legacy and this time it is Sachin who's playing well. He did the hard work with the initial overs. Just feel that he threw away his wicket right now. I'm sure he's not going to be happy about it. And uh, with his dismissal, the new batsman is Arjun who's walking out to the center. Arjun again with plenty of experience behind his back has walked out to the center. He's going to be batting along with Mithun Patil. Both these players uh, have been in the cricketing circle of Bangalore for many, many years now. And I must say, intelligent bowling from uh, Dube. The first couple of deliveries were on the fifth stump. And the third delivery, he pushed it quicker. With the arm, the ball came into the left-hander who had the right idea but couldn't uh, execute the shot properly. Resulted in his loss of wicket here. So two down now, Team Legacy. 30, 36 for two. Arjun on strike now. Looking for the drive first up. Slightly quicker again from Dube. But now we know that he's not going to fly the delivery. If he does, it's going to be an enticing one. Short pitch delivery. Pull that in the gap. Will be a single. And he's off the mark, Arjun. Brings Mithun on strike. The final delivery of the over. He's playing smart here. He's playing the T20 game. The last ball, he wants more protection on the boundary. Whereas he should be looking for a wicket here. Not give away the single. Continue building the pressure on the batsman. He's got three fielders out on the deep on the leg side. Flight of delivery. Mithun had to squeeze that one away. That brings us to the end of another good over. So after the completion of nine overs, the score has moved on to 38 for the loss of two wickets. Team Legacy.
May I remind uh, both the captains once again to make sure that uh, you hurry up. You have to make sure that you finish in the stipulated time being provided by the empire. Starting off with the wide, uh, just checking with the bowler's name. Praveen, the new bowler introduced into the attack. Starts off with the wide. Another tall bowler. Quick single taken as well. Another wide signal. So that's a couple of runs added to the total. They'll take that however it comes. I'm sure Team Legacy wouldn't mind those runs. It's been a tough start here. Not the ideal or the easy ones which you've had in the league stages. It's the big finale. Understandable. So that bowling is not going to be easy. Things are not going to be easy. You have to work hard on these uh, boundaries and sixes. And the runs you're going to get. Praveen, another tall bowler. Hitting the deck hard with a high bounce. That's uh, hat-trick wides there. Three consecutive wides from Praveen. Watching his uh, bowling run up and action. Looking to hit the deck hard. Four wides in a row. Good take there from Prashant, the skipper. It was going down the leg side and it was going further down. And uh, Prashant had to put in the dive. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. With the kind of height and the release that he has, he will definitely get the extra bounce. It's a good thought here to bring him from this end with uh, an extra bounce here. Another dot ball, another play and a miss from Arjun. He's got to be careful here. There is the tennis ball bounce here. There is that extra bounce here from this end. And the tall man hitting the deck hard. So he is definitely going to get the extra bounce. So you've got to be careful. There's slip in place. And point region. Ball coming uh, back into the right-hander from outside leg stump. Leg by, signal by the umpire, brings Mithun Patil back on strike. I tell you, with the experience that uh, it's not easy to play bowlers like Praveen. Unpredictable bounce. Leading edge should be safe. Priyanshu caught napping on the boundary line. Wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting the ball to reach him with the leading edge. Mithun trying to play it on the onside gets the leading edge. Fortunately for him that uh, Priyanshu was caught napping. Another wide there, fifth wide of the over. So you got the runs, you just have to ensure that they get the strike rotation going on. Keep the scorecard ticking. It's interesting to see how Praveen is bowling. He's getting a little bit of uh, shape away from the right-hander. Gets the inner edge and a uh, single down to fine leg. And uh, with that single, that brings us to the end of another good over. So after the completion of 10 overs, Team Legacy 47 for the loss of two wickets.
Again, uh, change in the bowling. It's going to be Raju who's been brought into the attack. There must be some sort of thinking here to stop uh, Dube from bowling the second over as he picked up a wicket in the previous over. Might have been only because of the left-hand, right-hand combination that Dube was brought in as he dismissed the left-hander. So the captain has told him, thank you, Dube. We'll get back to you soon. Raju to continue from the commentary box end to Arjun. In fact, Mithun. Starts off with a wide. Plenty of wides uh, in the last two overs. These two would be hoping to stitch a good partnership here, Mithun and Arjun. A lot of experience with them. Punched of the back foot, forcing the shot of the back foot there, Arjun. Couldn't get the timing well. Oh, goes for the big hit there. Threw his bat at it. But uh, Raju manages to pull it uh, a slight wide outside of him and a uh, little quicker there for Arjun. That's in the air. Should be wicket number three and it is. Uh, so losing patience there Arjun looking for the forced shot and uh, eventually getting out to play a chip shot down to short mid wicket. Raju picking up wicket number three. 48 for three now. Team Legacy losing Arjun. Last batsman getting out. Uh, Arjun trying to play. Force the shot there. Ball holding back and uh, eventually just chipping it to Hemant at uh, short mid wicket so wicket number three goes down and the new batsman walking up to the center the new batsman who's walked in is Sunil Kaushik New batsman Sunil on strike now. It's going to be facing Raju. The key here is Mithun Patil's wicket. Quicker delivery off the thigh pad and down to fine leg for a single. Brings Mithun back on strike now. Like I mentioned, Mithun is... Uh, Got to be the key here for Team uh, Crickbiz. It's a big wicket there, Mithun. Crickbiz would be hoping to get another one here. Get another wicket and uh, put the opposition in the back foot. They're already in a good position, but could be better. I play that very well in the gap. There's a fielder running around. In fact, two fielders converging. But the fielder at short fine leg... Cuts that off, and that's a couple of runs there for Mithun. 
I'm sure Mithun's got a plan here. Got a plan to play at least till the 20th over. And uh, with those couple of runs, 50 runs on the board for Team Legacy. Goes for the big drive, times it well. Straight to the fielder at mid-off. And uh, that brings us to the end of another over. So the score has moved on to 50, 52 for 3 after the completion of 11 overs. Pops to continue. Praveen, also known as Pops. Oh, another outside edge. Single down to third man. I was uh, far away from uh, Prashant, the keeper. The skipper was out of his reach. Sunil is on strike now. There's a slip in place. So attacking field set. I'd like to see covers walking in a little more. I managed to steal a single there. Pops running after that but couldn't prevent the single. Good batting from Sunil. He's got to ensure that he keeps doing that consistently. Not look for the big hits. Still early stages here. We're still in the 12th over. After this, we have uh, 17 overs remaining in the game. So there's still plenty of time here. They just have to get set. Just have to understand the pitch and how it's behaving. Get the runs going. Get the singles and twos going. Oh, punched off the back foot. And uh, that will reach the boundary. A good shot there from Mithun. Waited up till the short pitch delivery, a loose delivery, and uh, freed his arms to get a boundary there, a welcome boundary for Mithun and Team Legacy. Back on the money and uh, equally well played from Mithun. Looked very confident while playing that shot. Right behind the ball. He's got the right idea in his mind. A loud appeal. Umpire doesn't seem to be interested on that. Probably suggesting it hit the right thigh of the batsman. So, as soon as it's hit high on the right thigh, it takes away the LBW equation. And since no bat involved, so no chance of a caught behind. Good decision from the umpire. Good delivery, good delivery. Had the mid wicket in place there. And that uh, brings us to the end of uh, the over. After the completion of 12 overs, the score has moved on to 58 for 3.
brought back into the attack is uh, Dubey again. Dubey picking up the wicket of Sachin, getting him uh, bold there. Again, uh, similar thinking as the left-hander Sunil is on strike. So it's a good idea to bring the off-spinner back into the attack. Tighten things up here for Sunil. I see you've got a slip in place for Sunil. Can he get another scalp? Over pitch delivery. Just managed to block that. Dubey is being very confident here, getting the extra man out at covers. You've got a short cover, covers point and short third. Uh, good delivery, better delivery. Again, very well played by Sunil. Just got to take his time here, Sunil. Trying to play that across the slog sweep was a little too fuller for him to play that shot, but managed to get bad on it and uh, gets a single to bring Mithun back on strike. As this fielders change over as the right hander is on strike. So you've got the cover fielder in trying to save the single. Point and uh, shot third are back. <laughs> Try to be cute there. Late cut. In fact, uh, just guided that to pops at a uh, slip. Quicker delivery down the leg side. I don't think there's any back on it. In fact, wide being called by the umpire. So an additional run as well. So they got a wide plus getting a single of it. So a couple of runs added to the total. They wouldn't mind, like I mentioned, additional runs coming through extras is something good here for Team Legacy. As it's been a difficult day so far to get the boundaries and sixes in this inning so far. Goes for the big hit on the pads. Will be a leg by this time. Bowling it quicker with the arm. So the ball going further down the leg side. An optimistic appeal that was from Dubey. Lighted that and Mitton had already thought of playing the scoop but then realizing the ball was pitched way outside off stump which was a wide. Decided to leave that alone and uh, another one quicker delivery. Smart batting just left it alone to finish off the over. So that brings us to the end of uh, the over. Four, 13 overs completed. Team Legacy 63 for the loss of three wickets. Wavered delivery to begin with from Pops. Trying to bang in it short at the batsman's rib. Losing the line there. Good work from Prashant.
Oh, good delivery. Move the other way around. So he's moving the ball both ways. There is a bit of swing now, especially when the ball is slightly older. So there's movement in the air. This time bringing it back to the left hander. Quick run taken. Missing the stumps. It's a risky run though. Mithun has to be careful here not to lose his wicket through a run out. Risky run not required. And Sunil has to understand that too. Watching the replay. If that would have hit the stump. Would have been a, a very, very close call. A power shot there. Muscled it down the ground to long off for a single. Good throw there to the keeper. Decides to leave that alone. A good decision. Well, another over away from the halfway stage here. The 14th over now. Again, a wayward delivery. Drifted down the leg side and it goes further away with the wind. Wide signal by the umpire. 67 for 3 in the 14th over. Leading edge. Three fielders coming around it. Oh! Eventually, a brilliant catch taken by the fielder at covers. Dube. The fielder at slip was going for it. The keeper, skipper was going for it and he pulled back. So Dube was unsure for a moment but eventually had to put in the dive to grab that. An outstanding catch by Dube to dismiss Sunil. Another wicket falls with the leading edge. So that brings us to the... In fact, uh, another couple of deliveries remaining in this over. Sunil departs. The new batsman who's walked in is... Mithun is the new batsman. So we've got two Mithuns out in the center. Wicket for Pops. Wicket at an important stage here. There's one thing I can tell you sitting in the commentary box is that you can't turn your bat around too early. Got to be looking to play it straighter. As we've already seen three batsmen, if two if not three batsmen getting out playing the leading edge. Mithun Patel on strike. Sensible batting decides to leave that alone. So that brings us to the end of over number 14. Team Legacy 67 for 4 after 14.
Dube back into the attack. In fact, continuing to bowl the third over. He's going to be bowling to Mithun, the new batsman. He's bowled smartly. I think he's going to vary the pace a lot more now since four wickets have gone. Look for that turning delivery. In the previous two overs, he was pitching it uh, short and uh, firing it in. I'm sure he's going to experiment a little now. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Try to get the turn in. Try to get the sharp turn into the right-hander. And then slip a quicker delivery. That's the one I'm talking about. The quicker delivery. Uh, goes for the blooming drive, connects well. In fact, uh, gets a boundary of it. That's a cracking shot from Sunil. In fact, Mithun. Beautiful shot from Mithun. Pitched up on the fifth stump and he went all out for it. With a lot of power, gets a boundary. Interesting to see how Mithun is going to continue now. I'm trying for the drive again, getting beaten this time. Seventy-one for four. Oh, quicker delivery! Managed to squeeze that out. So that brings us. Uh, to the end of uh, 15 overs gone, Team Legacy 71 for 4. It's been a good bowling performance so far from all the bowlers. Just Priyan should be in a little expensive. I'm sure he's going to come back again into the innings to bowl much more tighter. It's a very important phase of the game here. 15 to 22 overs. Guided that away. Ball was getting bigger on him. Just managed to hit the, the top of the ball to play it down. Sensible batting from Mithun. He's got the right idea, Mithun. He knows what he's doing and went to attack. Pops trying to get the extra bounce here. Would be hoping to get another wicket here. They would love to steal another wicket of Team Legacy at this point of time. Before the drinks break. Drifted down the leg side, beats the keeper, coming towards the commentary box end and in fact being pulled in. Sunil had to put in the dive there, save the boundary. Wide plus a couple of runs there. Goes for another big hit. Gets the outside edge. Will be only a single down to third man. 
Brings Mithun Patel on strike now. Plenty of extras in this inning so far of Team Legacy. And uh, Praveen, one of the culprit, giving away too many extras, too many wides. Good delivery. Gets a single down to fine leg. Like I mentioned, a lot of extras in this inning so far. We've just completed the halfway stage. Score is 77 for 4. And the extra count is 21 runs as extras. Got to keep things tight here. It's going to be not a big score here. As we speak, another extra, another wide from Pops. Looks like a 160 to 180 pitch here. I'm sure the team is going to be happy if they get above 185. Another dot ball. Well played by Mithun. Good conditions to play here. Not very hot in the center. Very pleasant weather of Bangalore. A dot ball to finish off over number 16. The score has moved on to 78 for the loss of four wickets. Dube to continue. Pitched up delivery, driven down the ground. Good bowling from Dube. He knows where his fielders are. So he's bowling accordingly. And sensible batting from Mithun. Both Mithuns batting together. Again, driven down the ground. Should be able to get an easy single there. That's exactly what they need. Just build a little bit of partnership here. Get about a 20-30 run partnership. Without taking much of risk here. Again, driven down the ground. Wide off, uh, mid-off there. Another single. So three runs of this over. That's exactly what they need to be doing right now. Avoid the risky shots and get the singles and rotate the strike. The quicker one to watch out for. That's exactly what uh, Dube would be hoping for. Bowl a few flighted deliveries and the quicker one. Played that on the on side. Should only be a single. Good work from Dube. Following the ball and had to put in the slide. Just shows how agile he is. Dube. As you call it, a raw cricketer. Smart cricketer, street smart cricketer. Uh, Mithun Patil. That's not what you've got to be looking at. We've got three fielders out in the deep. And that's the shot you looked out for. You can avoid that. And uh, that brings us to the end of an interesting over after the completion of 
18 overs, the score has moved on to 8. Correction, 17 overs, the score has moved on to 82 for the loss of 4 wickets. Checking the new bowler introduced into the attack is Chakri. Chakri going to be bowling to Sunit Mithun. Pitched up delivery driven down the ground straight to covers. No run there. Those are the kind of deliveries you get at least a single of it. Nonetheless, these two have to get a partnership going here. Pitched up delivery again. Another dot ball there. Mithun should be looking for the bigger plan here. Both the both the Mithuns. The plan to play till the twenty fifth over. Another wide there. Good keeping. Good take from Prashant. As we're watching Chakri's uh, run up here, smooth run up, strong legs. As he's coming closer to the pop increase, nice high arm action. This time he gets the drive right to get a single at least. So a couple of runs in this over, courtesy wide and a single of the previous delivery. So fairly decent start from Chakri, but I'm sure he's still not got what he's uh, looking for not the right line and length yet last four deliveries has pitched it up to the batsman gets the outside edge that's a better length I and they managed to get a single out of it Two more deliveries remaining in this over. Got a wide which was bowled in this over. Two dot balls and two singles. Slow delivery. Uh, that is sloppy work there. Big man Pops had to get down to s prevent it from going away from him. Wasn't able to do that successfully, so resulted in an overthrow. It's not going to hurt them much. It's just that you have to build the pressure here. Can't give away easy runs. Again, uh, Chakri drifting down the leg side, trying the in-swinger there. Wide signal by the umpire plus an additional run. So fairly decent over here for, here for Team Legacy. Eighty-eight for four. Another pitched up delivery played that good fielding at uh, the man at covers. And uh, that brings us to the end of the over. So after the completion of 18 overs, Team Legacy 88 for 4. And that's uh, drinks break being called by the match officials.
बोल रहे Big hit, but unfortunately for him, just after the drinks break, loses concentration there, loses his focus, tries the big hit and uh, gets out caught at long off. So Mitton Patel takes the long walk back, 88 for the loss of five wickets now. New batsman walking out to the center is Kesri. Requesting Jitin to come at the commentary box. Jitin to report at the commentary box, please. Dot ball, good ball there. Goes for the big drive. Uh, 
Umpire has to stretch his arms to convert that to a wide. Uh, goes for the big drive again, gets the outside edge fielder running behind it, but in vain. So that is a welcome boundary, a much needed boundary for Team Legacy to get things moving along after the Brinks break. Mithun gets the outside edge and gets a boundary of it. He's batting on 9 of 17 deliveries along with Kasuri. 93 for 5 now. Oh, this is the delivery. A sharp delivery coming back into the right-hander, cramping him for room. The skipper of Team uh, Crick Biz will be happy with this situation as of now, the position that they're in. Try to be cheeky there. So that brings us to the end of another good over. So after the completion of uh, 19 overs, the score is 93 for 5. Chakri to continue. Played that uh, down the ground. A single there. Score moving on to 94 for 5. It's been a difficult day for batting. Not an easy day for batsmen to get out there and uh, tonk the boundaries and sixes. Have to get the boundary singles and twos here. Long boundaries. Driven that nicely. Good timing on that. Let's say to Priyanshu who does the cleanup job. Single there. Again, driven down the ground. The length that he's bowling, Chakri, is uh, just on the half volley and over pitch deliveries. If he can pull that slightly back, makes it a little more difficult for the batsman to drive it down the ground. And can get the mid wicket slightly straighter here. They managed to steal another single there. Good batting here. Good response from the non-striker as well. Kasturi is off in a flash as soon as he heard the call yes for the single. Good work from Prashant, the keeper, the skipper. Coming behind the stumps and ensuring that the ball doesn't pass him on that throw. Yorker there. Ninety 
साथ में जाते ना तो वो अपने आप से रिसेंट हो जाता ना तो थोड़ा ध्यान देना Goes for the big hit. In fact, being caught out at covers, that's an extraordinary catch there. That ball was timed, and it was uh, going like a trace of bullet. And the fielder at covers just snapped that and took a fabulous catch. Raju, the fielder at covers, surprised everybody here on the ground. What an extraordinary catch that is! Unfortunate for Kasturi, he timed that perfectly. Just had to be a meter away from the fielder. Wasn't so on that occasion. The result is wicket number six going 97 for six. Team legacy. Dube back into the attack. Got warmed up earlier today playing an under-12 match. The kids are complaining here at the commentary box. Play that away. Bit of misunderstanding. The chance of a run out. But uh, batsman making it back in time. Not sure what they were thinking at that point of time. Goes for the big hit again. Didn't have the balance in that shot. Was falling back, trying to drive it towards covers. That's why he couldn't get the timing right. Pitched up delivery, slashes it hard. Just beats the fielder at covers. Manages to get a single. Trying the risky shots here, Mithun. Not the right time. I'm sure he understands that as well, but he also sees that it's an opportunity here. Try to take on Dube. 98 for 6. Wrapped up on the pads. The umpire says not out straight away. Was there a bat involved in that? Not sure. That was really close. That's in the air. Fielder's not going to get to that. Will be a single there. Oh, that's a dusra at the end of the over to finish off the overs. Skillful bowling from Dubey comes to an end. Another good over for Team uh, Crickbase. 
That brings us to the end of over number 21. Team Legacy 99 for the loss of six wickets. Chakri to continue. As we've noticed, uh, they've got they've used six bowlers so far. Walking into the shot there, getting a single of it. Good batting from Vasant. With that single hundred up on the board, and that's why you heard the applause from the batting team. Hundred on the board, losing six wickets in the twenty-second over. Slow delivery turned out to be a yorker there. Got to understand what the plan here is going to be. Play along for another three or four overs. Get at least uh, three or four runs and over. Gets bad on it. Was drifted down the leg side. They managed to get a single off it. Runs have been uh, quite difficult to come by this morning. In fact, this afternoon, not easy here to get the boundaries, not easy here to play the power shot, unless it's a loose delivery. Credit to the bowling team as well. Hit it hard, but straight to the fielder. Like I mentioned, it's only the loose deliveries which have been dispatched to the boundary so the credit goes to the bowling team as well I remember such an pulling a delivery of uh, Shiv for a sixer as well no feet movement there foot pointing out towards the empire and trying to hit it over covers gotta get in line of the ball Chakri has done a fairly decent job for a skipper. Bowling is as the sixth bowler. Gets the outside edge. Bowled it wider away from the off stump. Batsman had to reach out to it. Gets the outside edge for a single. And that brings us to the end of the over. After the completion of 22 overs, Team Legacy 102 for, for 6.
struck well but didn't get the elevation or the distance there single to long off another wide there good hit there timed it well but there are two fielders converging on it should only be a single down to long off a pitched up delivery that was was in the arc of the batsman vasant and uh, mithun batting along 106 for the loss of six wickets we're on the 23rd of this 23rd over of the innings some of the some of the important names we were looking forward to watch them bat arjun shiv kumar mithun some of the familiar names we were looking forward to beginnings from them wasn't so unfortunately pull that away a short pitch delivery and uh, been dispatched for a boundary that was a good hit no pace there short of length batsman had enough time to rock back and pull that away for a boundary much needed boundary here all these uh, runs are welcome runs here for team legacy 112 for 6 even though they've got the batters out there in the center it's not easy you just have to wait for these uh, bad deliveries loose deliveries to convert them That's a good hit. A fantastic hit that was in the gap wide of mid off. Gets back to back boundaries Mithun. Is this the over which is going to change the momentum in the innings of team legacy? We'll have to wait and find out. So as of now the score has moved on to 114 for 6 after the completion of 23 overs. Shukri to continue. Or uh, another Yorker squeeze that away. And a good stop by the fielder at short fine as well. Would have been uh, a possibility of two, but Sunil Batra was uh, quite quick on that to reach out to the ball. Hundred and fifteen for six. Hello. 
Slow delivery, just put bat on ball there. And uh, managed to rotate the strike, get a single off it. This is good batting by these two. Looking back at things now. 24th over in progress. Should be happy with 150. Another dot ball, another over pitch delivery. Couldn't manage to beat the fielder there. And it's been a tight innings, not been an easy innings here for Team Legacy Batsmen. And I'm sure it's going to be the same for the opponent team as well, Crickbiz Academy. Unless there's going to be bowling difference. Played that to short fine. Good feeling again. Potra, the fielder. Full toss, driven down the ground. Should have tried to push that for a couple of runs, but uh, um, not interested in the second, in the first place. Mm. 117 for 6 in the 24th over. One more delivery remaining in this over. Mithun batting on 23 of 31. Vasant batting on 7 of 13. Decent little partnership going on. Another slow delivery. Driven down the ground. This time should only be a single. So that brings us to the end of over number 24. Score moved on to 118 for 6. Raju will be bowling the 25th over. He's going to be bowling to Mithun. So far in the tournament, 226 fours and 129 sixes. Plays the big drive. Gets single down to long gone. Was looking to hit it over the bowler's head or probably just wide of the bowler. But because of the slowness of the pitch, ball coming in slower and getting it uh, on the inner half of the bat and getting a single of it. This is connected well and this will be a sixer. What a hit that was from Vasant. Big man, big arms uh, was in his arc and sent it out of the park. What a hit that was. 125 for six. Over pitch delivery, outside of stump. Put a lot of power on it. Timed it beautifully and the result is a maximum. Six runs for Team Legacy and Vasant. Is this the start of momentum shift here? We'll wait and find out. Slow delivery. Equally well played. 
वेरी स्मार्ट बैटिंग फ्रॉम वसंत 